Good everyone, Ryan Zook here with Aaron McMahon at Michigan Stadium. Wolverines pull out a 35-14 victory today over Rutgers. Big story, finally Brandon Peters time. 10-14, 124 yards and a touchdown coming in the second quarter after John McCorn struggled. What are your impressions of what he did today? Yeah, he looked good. He looked comfortable. Um, he was able to move the offense. I think that's, that's been the key all, all season long. The quarterback, whoever has been, Will Spade, John O'Connor, they've had trouble moving, moving the offense, whether it was the Reds over the odd or just moving it down the field in the last few weeks. with his first career touchdown. How key is that rushing game, and, and what did you see from the rushing attack today? It's been important all season long. It's, it's the one thing I think Michigan's offense has kind of held its, its, hand, its hat on. You know, they, they ran well against Indiana a couple weeks ago. They were able to do it last week against Penn State, and it didn't hurt them, and you, and you saw that. Um, they went to the ground game early on and really rode it the rest of the game, and it was the reason, the reason they won. We just got back from Harbaugh's press conference. It appears Peters is going to start next week, but also set, I mean, left the door open a little bit. You have to go with the hot hand against Minnesota next week, don't you? You think so. You know, he's a little wishy-washy. He did say um, Peters is going to be the starting quarterback next week against Minnesota, but he did not rule out playing on court. He did say, which I thought was interesting, that the plan all along uh, was to put Peters in the game today. So they were going to play both. Um, it wasn't clear how much, <laughs> yeah, how much or when, um, but it ended up happening. So I'm curious to see going forward if, if they do that next week. And next week, night game uh, against Minnesota here at Michigan Stadium. Check back M Live for later today for more coverage of the game.